What's going on guys? My name's Corey Kamori and welcome to Lyric Breakdowns here on the Breakdown Channel. And in today's video, we will be discussing Wasted Years by Iron Maiden. Released in 1986 off of the Somewhere in Time album, Wasted Years touches upon the subject of homesickness and alienation when one is away from home and pursuing their passion. What is also tied into this focus and the subject matter of this song is the idea of chasing one's dreams down and what that process looks like. Jumping straight into the song, we hear the words, From the coast of gold, across the seven seas, I'm traveling on far and wide. But now it seems I'm just a stranger to myself. And all the things I sometimes do, it isn't me, but someone else. I close my eyes and think of home. Another city goes by in the night. Ain't it funny how it is? You never miss it till it's gone away. And my heart is lying there and will be till my dying day. This first verse paints the speaker as someone who has traveled far and wide and is seasoned at the art of traveling and bringing their passion to different cities and countries. The speaker has experienced the highest of highs and the most triumphant successes in the world of music and in having music that resonates with their audience. However, now it seems that routine has set in and the speaker has become a little disillusioned by the process of bringing this music and these experiences to the people. It now has become difficult to maintain that high level of intensity and passion because this is now a job. It's something that happens day in and day out and has created a yearning for simpler times. This verse really paints a picture similar to that of songs like On the Road Again and Turn the Page. It's a song that a lot of artists have come to make once they have hit this period of trying to maintain success on the road. It's a song of the trials and tribulations of traveling and the life of a traveling musician. And it's not something that I think won't resonate with normal people. I think this is a song that can resonate with people that just travel a lot to make a living and have to be away from home for a long period of time. There's this idealized... Um, vision or fantasy of life on the road, traveling, getting away from your mundane existence at home and traveling out there and experiencing something new and exciting. But the reality is, is once you've done something for long enough, no matter what it is, it will settle. The excitement level will drop a little bit and it will become routine unless you try to implement small things to kind of help you along that process. A lot of times when you're in this situation, you're searching for highs, you're searching for the highest of highs. And unfortunately, the only thing that can come with the highest of highs are the lowest of lows. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For that, let's get into the next section of the song, which is the chorus. So understand, don't waste your time always searching for those wasted years. Face up, make your stand, and realize you're living in the golden years. This chorus is a declaration to the listener to not get hung up on the days of yesteryear and to live fully in the here and now. It also touches upon the things that I was just speaking about prior to this chorus. It exclaims that once you have achieved your goals, you may yearn for the comfort of the past, the comfort of home, and you may want to go and seek those things that you considered mundane in the past. Overall, the message is no matter where you are in life, appreciate where you are, what you have, and who you are with, all while striving to continue to grow and achieve things to further yourself in your future pursuits. This song doesn't present concepts that are really too hard to comprehend. Uh, I sound like a broken record at this point if you guys have watched any of my other videos, but it is pretty straightforward. But again, it's something that is able to transcend so many different walks of life. There are so many different types of people that can relate to this message in this song. And I think that's why it's a powerful song. 
Not to take away anything from any of the other great songs that Iron Maiden has in their catalog, but this is one that really strips away a lot of the mystique and mythology that a lot of their other songs have. And while I absolutely love going and revisiting those songs when I want to feel inspired and feel um, creative in a way that is more leaning towards fantasy or science fiction or anything else of that nature, this is a great song to be able to put on to kind of help remind yourself where you're going, what you're doing, and the things that you are seeking to achieve. It's a really great, powerful song with a positive message. And like I said in my Dio video, which if you guys have not checked out, I will definitely link for you at the end of this video, it's a positive song, which is very rare to find in metal, especially metal nowadays. It really doesn't happen a whole, a whole lot at all. Um, but this is a song that really seeks to inspire the listener, empower the listener, which for me, one of the things that I always gravitated towards with metal music was that feeling of empowerment. When I was feeling down, when I was feeling left out and felt like I couldn't go to the places I wanted to go, I would turn on a metal song from one of my favorite bands and I'd crank that thing up as loud as I possibly could because it made me feel powerful. It gave me strength when I felt weak. And that is what I think most of the best music in the world is supposed to do for you. It doesn't matter what kind of genre it's from. For me, heavy metal tends to be my preferred genre of choice, but there's plenty of songs out there that can do that, that can help move you along in that process of life. Something that is also highlighted in this song is that it really paints a great picture of where the band was at the time of writing this particular album and this song. The band wrote this particular song when they were on their nearly year-long tour um, for their previous album, and the band was in experiencing a lot of issues um, internally, and it was a song that really allowed them to work out some of those inner demons and get the band back on track. It was a song that was able to empower the musicians making it as well as the people that were going to eventually listen to it. It's a song that is about the ups and downs and the highs and lows of life on the road homesickness, alienation, the feelings that are associated when you are chasing down that dream and trying to achieve greatness. And there are going to be wonderful times in that pursuit, and there are going to be some horrible times. And it's a song that truly encapsulates that. Just like any of those other songs I mentioned that talk about life on the road when you're pursuing that dream and that goal. Well, what do you guys think? Did I leave anything out? Do you have anything to add to this interpretation? If so, please leave a comment below. Let me know. As always, I've been Corey Kamori. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.